regardless if your guy lines are either rope or steel wire, there are certain maintenance tips that you should follow. And this is to ensure the integrity of your structure. Stick around and I'll give you these tips right here on K4S or FM radio. Hey, Steve here, K4SRF Radio. Now, regardless of if you're running a tower or a mast, you ha should have a guide uh, starting at 12 feet and from that point on every 10 to 15 feet thereof until the top of the mast. Now, should you have your structure uh, attached to the roof or an eave of the house, it's recommended you guide it starting at 10 feet above where it's attached to the uh, ho house itself and again from every 10 to 15 feet above that. Now, Regardless of whether you're using the rope guy wires, like I use mast strain on my antenna mast here, which go up uh, 40 something feet, uh, and one's at 50 feet, or if you have a steel cables, or like uh, braided cables, you've got certain things you need to look out for, and you should do this routine maintenance every now and then, just to make sure that your structure is still sound. The first thing you should do is inspect your lines regularly uh, at least every few weeks you know uh, if you just put your structure up I would probably inspect it a couple of times a week during the first couple of weeks just to make sure everything's as it should be now this is of course you know saying we don't have any you don't have any uh, acts of or nature or any extreme weather to contend with but what you need to do is you need to make sure that your guidelines are tensioned uh, correctly, that they're not slack or loose. Now if you over tension your guy lines, uh, this can put uh, pressure on the tower, pulling the tower downwards. Now uh, regarding if, regardless of using a three line method or a four line method, this uh, force bringing the, pulling the tower down will actually put stress on the tower unnecessarily. And if you have a mast itself, it's uh, say these that, that go inside each other, you, you know, your expandable ones, it could actually cause them to collapse under their own uh, weight being pulled down. Now, other things you should be looking for as far as uh, uh, rope goes, make sure the ropes aren't frayed, make sure the tension lines are completely uh, secure and not loose at all. Uh, you should also inspect where they're anchored into the ground. Uh, if you're using uh, concrete anchor points, make sure the concrete's not cracked or showing signs of damage. Um, if you have wires, for instance, your wires should be checked for corrosion at the connection points, corrosion throughout the line, and also corrosions and signs of breakage, uh, fraying cable lines, uh, fraying also on the ropes too. You don't want them fraying and snapping under, under pressure there. Um, uh, again, just basic, basic things you should be checking for. Now, sometimes what you can do also, if you're in an area, you can, if you have access to a drone, you can fly and do a drone inspection of the cables itself. Uh, this will just give you a good visual uh, representation of maybe what uh, areas of the guidelines you can't manually inspect from the ground. Now, if you have a tower, it's uh, recommended that you do inspect the tower Oh, at least a couple of times a year uh, by a qualified technician, of course. Have a technician climb the tower and check the tower itself for uh, loose or missing uh, you know, bolts or screws or connectors and stuff like that. Also check the uh, guy connectors at the tower point and um, make sure they're not loose and corroded and secure. Make sure everything's secure. Uh, make sure there's no signs of rust on the tower itself where the tower is going together. Make sure there's no signs of the joints being uh, stressed out, bent, or damaged in any way. But going back to the guy lines again, at least you can expect from the top of the guy line down. Uh, and also you can probably get a couple of people on the ground to visually inspect the uh, guy wire from different waypoints on the ground. Like I've got one over here. I've also got guys over here and here. Now, if this were a towered structure, uh, I would probably have a couple of assistants and one technician up on the, on the tower itself to visually inspect from above looking down 
and a couple of eyes, sets of eyes on the ground to look up and make sure everything is fine. Now, again, if you, if you have access to uh, a drone system or an operator, drone operator, uh, I would recommend using the drone to kind of visually inspect. I, I personally use my drone now and then to just uh, go up 50 feet and I do a visual check of the uh, tower, just a quick check of the, the mast that is not tower, but the mast here. And um, it just serves to see if there's anything that I need to pay attention to, should I have to bring the, uh, the mast down for maintenance or whatever. And speaking of maintenance and guying, checking your guy lines and the tension and all this uh, good stuff, if you have uh, severe weather coming up, uh, as we do here in Florida, and it's obvious we've had two storms in less than uh, a month here, it's hit. But uh, what you, what I would recommend, if you're, you've got a tower that you can't lower, uh, go out and visually make sure that these line, your lines, wire or or cable or rope that is is secure, not over tension, but secure. Give it just a little bit of place so the tower doesn't snap under pressure. Um, and then again, immediately after the storm has passed, if you have not lowered your structure and you obviously don't see any signs of damage, go out immediately, inspect your guy lines again, because in a storm, your tower will vibrate and move and uh, sway some. So you may have some uh, weak points in the guy line that need to be retensioned. And retention can be do, uh, done either manually with the ropes itself or with a tensioner. Uh, if you have guy lines, steel guy lines, there's tensioners will do that. Um, but it's important just to go ahead, getting back to the on topic, and make sure that you have all your guy lines tensioned. As you can see, these are pretty well tensioned. Uh, they're not overly tensioned. Uh, they've got just a little bit of play in them. They're not like piano line. and the tower is pretty well structured and pretty well staying up there. So it's important to check these things to make sure that, again, that your tower does not fail. Well, I hope this information has been useful for, uh, to you and in, you know, kind of maintenance on your towers and your mast and all that good stuff. Um, if it has been useful, consider liking it and giving me a subscription there if you haven't subscribed already. And I'm going to be putting some more out, some more videos out. I'm only a part-time YouTuber here, and uh, so I don't get to put out as much content as I'd like to put out. But until next time, again, this is Steve, K4SRF73.